all. This is the immune system part 2. In our first part, we have learned the terms immunity, immunology, immune response and we have seen the lines of defense and we have understood what are antigens and what are antibodies. In our this video, that is the second part of the immune response, the immune system, what we are going to study? The types of immunity, types of acquired immunity and we will see the complete process by which pathogens are being killed inside the body. So let's begin with the types of immunity. Now we have to see the types of immunity. There are various types of immunity but the two major types are innate immunity and acquired immunity. You can see innate immunity and acquired immunity. Innate immunity is also known as natural immunity or non-specific immunity. And acquired immunity is also known as adaptive or specific immunity. So let's have a look at the differences between innate immunity and acquired immunity. Innate immunity, it includes all defense elements, all with which an individual is born. So when you are born, you are born with innate immunity. Acquired immunity, this is acquired after the birth. You don't have this type of immune mechanism in your body since birth. After the birth, you get acquired with few Type, uh, certain types of immunity mechanisms and these comes under acquired immunity. Innate immunity, it consists of various types of barriers that prevent the entry of foreign agents. So various types of barriers are there in case of innate immunity which prevent the entry of foreign agents or the foreign particles. So barriers are here, you can see barriers are here. In case of acquired immunity, it consists of specialized cells. Innate immunity it consists of barriers. Acquired immunity consists of specialized cells. These cells are T cells and B cells and antibodies. So acquired immunity contains specialized cells and antibodies. These circulate in the body fluid. Innate immunity remains throughout the life of a human being. But acquired immunity can be short lived or lifelong depending on the type of antigen that has entered into the body. You can see here 